Well, tis the season. It was something we hoped we'd avoid this year, but it is Minnesota and that's a far, far cry from a hope. Snow's gonna come and now it's time to clean all the doors out and the grain pits off and clean the yard out and all the neighbors. Good times living in Minnesota. Do we, you here. do we have two of them snow shovels? Of these ones? Yeah, that just seems to be more suited for the job. <laughs> it is light and fluffy, so this one does work good, so I'll keep this, it fits my hand, okay? I'm gonna get the leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just telling them how we've avoided this for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> at least it's the middle of January. And then Brody took your job. Oh, I don't really know how to do this shoveling thing. <laughs> I'm used to a bobcat. It's pretty straightforward. You're doing it correct. You know, when there's a job you don't want to do, you try to suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> you always forget how many doors there is until you're. Should I go open that up? I'm going to go open it up. Until you get the shovel around, everyone. Oh, Brody's down by the bends. He's got a shovel in his hand. Oh, well, he doesn't know how this bobcat thing works. <laughs> it's the best place to clean snow. Nor, at least it ain't windy today because then it really gets miserable down here. Good job, Brody. But we don't like, in case we ever have to dump a truck here, or anything, we don't like these pads freezing down or getting ridges of ice around them because then when it thaws, it actually runs water. If the ground obviously gets higher around here with ice, it then runs into your pits and then you got a whole another nightmare. So before Steve's here to start trucking here shortly, we gotta clean this out so it don't get all packed down. This is kind of like my uh, sweeping. Just put it underneath another combine implement. <laughs> Did you ask if any of them want to come help? <laughs> I think the manual labor of that job is done. Now Dad and Brody are out just pushing the yard off. Dad's got a lot of yards to clean off, like I said before. And that's just me and him. So I'm sorry going, to disappoint. I'm gonna have thank you. I <laughs> I'm gonna have to work all winter now inside the shop because I can't push snow anymore. Yeah, he jacked the job. I like I kinda do like that everyone gets here earlier or tries to get here earlier during the winter when there's a snowstorm because they know they're gonna get the nice cushy job. Wasn't here early enough. <laughs> Actually, Brody was last, he just went right to it. Yeah. So, are we gonna update them with what we learned here? Oh, we have, I'm standing right here next to the uh, project that we talked about, uh, getting this and it's gonna power our low boy if you missed the last video of us picking this up. Uh, yeah, so this is where we decided to place it. There's been right or wrong, it's where we've put it and it's not moving, it's fastened on quite well. There's been roadblocks and hiccups, <laughs> speed bumps. So we're learning. Yes, and we're also learning about hydraulics and the valving and the names of it. 
we've also hit a hiccup there. So I gotta order a different valve because I bought the wrong one. We so this trailer, it's nice to put the neck when you drive the excavator on or off and float. The valve I bought does not have a float feature, so I need to return that, find one, which is more difficult than one would think it should be. Mm -hmm. And they're very expensive. When we don't really know what they're called. <laughs> yeah. We can explain what we need, but I don't know what to search online. Yeah. I called the parts store of like, I need it to be like a tractor remote. Up, down, float. Maybe oh, we can rock okay. one. And then he has to put those words into the technical terms. Yeah. Where are we robbing? Oh, we'll take a deal off one of the tractors. 1086. I was thinking one of the lease tractors. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, so, long story short, we learned these hoses are from our precision planter upgrade kit, or we took this off when we put the upgrade kit on, and Eric found disappointing news about the hoses. They don't work with the crimper, which the crimper also doesn't work. It works. It just leaks some oil. Yeah. So it did crimp. It was nice. I didn't get exhausted. But yeah, these are, they only got one steel band inside, so they're a little thinner hose uh, outside diameter. So all planters come with the cheapest hose possibly made, and anyways, in this year. routed through a square toolbar, so great spot for when they blow. <laughs> but yeah, so our crimper isn't set up for this, or I don't even know how you would crimp something like this, whole different die, but... That's not good. That's another hiccup we ran into because the hose ends on this naturally are not at all what we want to have. And they are already routed under the whole trailer. <laughs> and they were the like perfect length. Yeah, the one time, you know, Doug wants to hold on to all that stuff, this was worth holding on to for a little bit, and now we are learning that it's just going to cost us more work. Yeah. yeah, so unfortunately, this project's kind of on hold until I get more parts and information. And then we have this project that we were working on last night after hours of putting tracks on Eric's. I'm excited. And we got, what, six inches of snow, five inches of snow last night? Yeah, so he's now on steroids to get this uh, project be, going. That'll be fun. Who's going to pull me out when I get stuck? <laughs> <laughs> I told him until I get a couple of feet of snow, I'm not planning on putting mine on. But he's excited, which you should be. It is fun. It is fun. Until you fall through the ice uh, slush. Do they want to buy these? I don't need those anymore. What are they for? Those are the old sprockets out of the inside of the tracks. Those are 20 tooth. I needed 18s. Perfectly fine, but of no use to me. Yeah, these, these tracks were on a 13 or a 14 Ranger. The guy I bought them from. So apparently they worked on that. Other than that, I don't know. They would have fit on mine. I think it has something to do with the electric power steering. Oh. I don't know if... Because it was two different... That's getting into details. <laughs> <laughs> don't need those. <laughs> so, that project's kind of on hold. There's maybe a couple of things we can tweak on there. With what parts we do have. Uh, now it's move into this. This one's going to be super easy. It didn't get many hours on it, so a lot of the fuel filters, oil does not need to be changed, but air filters, check bogey wheel oil levels, and this one will be pretty easy because it's got 580 hours on it, I believe, in two years now, so should be pretty simple. Grease and look over and hopefully there's no hidden issues and away we go. So this is the planter tractor slash spraying tractor, but it does all the soybean and black turtle bean planting. So the air filters tend to be a lot more plugged on planter tractors rather than sprayer tractors. Ow. And honestly, it don't look too bad, but we'll clean it up and put her back in. I don't think this needs replacement. That actually wasn't bad at all. So I just got done vacuuming out the 450 cab. I'm gonna detail it now. 
uh, 95% of the hours are put on by this guy. And I applaud you. It is not a cab that normally looks like you have ran it. Which means? It was not bad. Oh. It's not all dusty and muddy and... So here I thought you were sneaking in a compliment unless, there, but it unless, feels more like a dig. Oh, I'm complimenting the, uh, the quality of the cab. Makes my life easy, the detail crew. I appreciate it. How many hours around but this one? But I think one? someone previously cleaned out the 18 million Northern Chill bottles that normally are in there. You gotta do that, otherwise you gotta swim yourself through the cab. <laughs> By about October, she gets kinda of full in there. <laughs> But this 450 actually, it is, we serviced it. Only got not, 100. Not me. No, you were in Florida. Me and Brody did. It only got 182 hours on it. That's how efficient he is. <laughs> yeah. Or that's how efficient the Pro Force and Land that's Roller what is. I was <laughs> but yeah, it was over every single acre, what, twice for sure. Yeah. And only did all that work. Well, the nice part was, I guess, the. Uh, Variable rate spreading. Yeah, Took we did do. Off. We did hire some variable rate spreading. Well, I remember during the fall when I had to. It didn't feel like I was doing anything because he was never me. behind. <laughs> right? It's like, well, shouldn't I be out spreading? No, it's variable rate. Someone else will do it. Okay. <laughs> I get to sleep. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> so this is actually one of the jobs that we do to, or we try to do to every piece of equipment. And semis, just detail cabs, clean them up. Uh, just keep the leather nice, the cabs nice. Maybe trade in value or selling stuff outright looks a little bit better when that day comes. Plus, it's just a thing that I really, well, I can't say that I really enjoy doing this job, but I do enjoy getting into a nice clean vehicle, whether that's a pickup or a, a tractor cab and having a nice clean cab which happens for about a week of actual farming. But you don't see much of this because it's kind of hard to create content when you're just rubbing upholstery for an hour and a half. But I'll get her done. Well, and just like that, there's the completed project. It's pretty good, actually. I really like it. Everything's nice and slippery waxed so shiny looks pretty good looks pretty good oh brody's back in here he sounds like he's fire hosing in the back truck shop i should maybe go help him but i wanted to complete this project before i do need to clean the windows yet oof duh. dusty is that the bag of stuff that came out of yeah. <laughs> I only heard this pop cans and water bottles thrown out. out. This thing reeks. I think this is your Christmas party food. Nice. nice. I was blowing snow. As fun as you remember it. I still haven't gotten over last winter, so it <laughs> Any was incidents yet? No fun at all. Uh no? That's good. Some gravel going through the blower. <laughs> no, Standard it's, operation of the first blowing or pushing. It's pretty boring though. Now I gotta go traipsing all over the countryside. It's dinner time though. Yeah. Time. Well, this cab's cleaned. It's ready to go to case and get a nice bill racked up on some track frame bushing stuff, possibly. They're gonna look it over and you see. You know, uh, we could try to do it ourselves. We got so much work to do. I know. It's not even funny. Uh, I gotta go find a new rim for Kenny. Yeah. We looks like it's broke. So I'm on the mission. Well I'm gonna tell Brody it's dinner time and see what he's into. Do you having fun, Brody? That's it, it's too bad. Where's the waiter? It is dinner time, so I'm here to tell you that. So you didn't work up an appetite sitting in the skid loader all morning? No, I didn't. <laughs> Only one more muddy one after this. Yeah, I know. Just keep that in your mind. One more. One more. Ah, it's fall. Two more. Why? We got together combine. Oh, that's true. That's muddy. That's true. But there's only two tracks on that. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> all right, well, everyone will be eating. Then I need help out for lunch. Okay.
What? Are you having fun? You have a blast. <laughs> Literally, a blast. a blast. Oh, the cleaning. And you can see I, I'm in the waiters again. Brody needs help. Or so he says he needs help. So the, the driving, washing, fire hosing is all about to start. I'm back in the bobcat. I see that. And look it, he got his hair cut. He got them all cut, actually. What cut? I got them all cut, actually. All the hairs? Yes. Oh, I've never heard that one before. I got one this morning. Now we both look like toads. You know, I've never seen a pretty toad. I, that doesn't match what we are. <laughs> We're pretty. Right, Brody? Right. <laughs> so, I believe I get the fire hose, Brody gets the zero tip, and somehow Eric gets to drive again. And our new pump here. Oh yeah, this one has a key. So we always wash our uh, radiators out every year just because dust dirt gets built up in there. Now, you gotta do a good job otherwise it turns to mud so we spend a lot of time on there on that. So we flew it through with the uh, fire hose. I feel really confident that that did a perfect job actually. I don't even think you need to pressure wash it Brody, the radiator. No, I think I that did plan. great. I wasn't planning on it. So, now, next uh, step is to put the Pro-Line soap on and then wash, basically. So the soap is there too, obviously. It's wet, the camera maybe doesn't show it, but you can see there's mud on there still, so that foam helps to kind of loosen that up, release it, and then you pressure wash it. It's supposed to come off. We do, do scrubbing. Uh, this this is the one that has that uh, ceramic coating, ceramic coating when they buff it the whole thing, so it'll be interesting to see how this one washes up. It says it washes up easier, so we'll find out. We'll find out very fast. If you guys have any interest in the uh, soap that we use here and have used for three years um, for pressure washing, uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I believe it's on our website, ProLine in Watertown. Um, truck and tractor wash is what we use on everything actually. The pressure washer guy always finds issues for us to fix in the shop. Missing hardware, vibration, 
This is from the previous guy. The radiator was apparently damaged or cracked there. And it's looking like it's leaking around there. This was all, it's not good. It was like that when we bought it. And I hope this looks very, very expensive. So hopefully that holds together. Yeah. <laughs> You've come up with a new theory. Look at the theory, how well it's working. It works pretty well. You put the hose, can, hose foamer cannon at the end of your pressure washer one. It's not a great ideal thing, but <laughs> it works. It's better than turning the hose off and swapping guns. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see this go. We've decided we're not going to scrub, right? We're not gonna scrub this. Gonna scrub. We're just gonna foam and pressure wash it off because it's ceramic coated and we're gonna see how it works. We got done with everything up high. That makes this, the process so quick. So quick. So I'm not sure, Brody, what do you think? Is it the ceramic coating that's, it this must, is washing so beautiful and easy? Easy. And Never I do seen. know that he was saying that it is water wicking, so like it don't take long after washing it before the uh, water is off and dry. All right, yard looks really nice. They did a pretty good job for the first snow. We try not to do a perfect job. And like right here, um, they come with the snow, a bucket full of snow, and they'll actually spread it um, over the gravel so that it gets driven on, packed down, so that the rest of the winter, hopefully, when it snows more, we have a hard pack of snow. Otherwise, you just scrape gravel. It's hard on the cutting edges. and works really good. Okay, Chet is going to load a truck out of here uh, and then chase a sweep, so that'll be fun. Oh, nice, it's snowing in there. Where is that coming from? There's snow in there. Okay, I gotta get a cord hooked up to the sweep. And that plug-in is so conveniently located across the driveway. I think before we would plug into the bend that used to be there. And since that's no longer there, the electricity is no longer there. So we get to unhook it every time because dad says you can't drive over extension cords. And if dad catches you driving over extension cords, you may get yelled at. Oh, slippery. All right, hopefully no bird nests are up there. Nothing's frozen. This also got remodeled in the storm. Okay, this one first. Get to walk way over here. Sweet. And we hope everything starts. The drain should start coming out. Shortly. There we go. I had a small bit of a heart attack here. This is what I've seen. She almost overfailed.
You weren't supposed to come down here. I used to do the same thing when I was young. <laughs> Oh man, that's as fun as I remember it. We got a load, we got a load. You missed out on some fun in there. Brody and I had fun in here. I wasn't even in here, I was over there. What were you doing? I seen you in there, were you Brody cleaning the cab? I cleaned it. Hey, that's a fair trait, because I you should have had the I camera walked. to actually show what a disaster. He makes beautiful miracles out of dirty <laughs> equipment. And his cab looked like I a know. bomb and a child. Like his kid. Like, do you bring your kid with? I don't know what happened, to be honest. <laughs> there was subway because wrappers. I don't. It was, there, there was, the best thing was these little uh, Parmesan packages of cheese that were in there. See? <laughs> I threw them away. Were they empty or full? They were full. <laughs> you never know when you need some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> I told you, you gotta have your, what are they called? Consumables? Consumable. <laughs> oh my. He did actually. What do you have in your combine this fall? Red Hot and Ranch. It's just He's a in there having a core, <laughs> like a five course Open meal. Pack meal. It up. And yet you can still operate equipment unbelievable. It's truly mind blowing. I have all I can do to sit on TikTok in there. I don't go on TikTok. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new job. <laughs> so these two are done? Close to it, that has to go to town, so that has to stay in here or somewhere where we can get it going. Planter track should be done until we need to get the planter in. Does that mean we're moving into combine season? Brody mentioned that, and I wasn't super excited that about it. We have to go get the other combine. We did, and now we just got the bearings for the slowdown kit, so I suppose I could start with that. Yeah, Brody wrecked those. I did not. <laughs> you were part of it too. <laughs> It looks pretty good, guys. Look at this. That fire hose does miracles. Miracles! Why, why you look scared to come over here? Did you guys wreck something? What do you think of the ceramic coating? It's got me sold. <laughs> I just need to learn how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I don't know, man. That watching them guys from Mad Garage buff that thing and the 95.30, that's a job. That is a time consuming job. Yeah. Took them a day per tractor and they had three to four guys. This is I just about ate my teeth today. there. Your what? braces? Yo, I just about fell trying to balance. <laughs> Was it? I think so. Yeah, you couldn't even see them. That's maybe the most impressive part. That they could restore the lights. I think if you, you uh, didn't have to swap your lights on the old Impala. <laughs> could have just I could have just buffed them. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap on today's video. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. We did uh, get a lot done today, but we got a lot more to do. See you, Dougal.